Jorge El Pisao, but all that's come to an end. It's time to move on. My flamenco journey will continue, but not in Granada, but I definitely plan to return. So now I'm flying to England, specifically Liverpool. Why Liverpool? Well, my plan originally was to spend the summer in Scotland, working on a farm or helping a family out with a construction project. There's a program called Workaway, who do about five hours of labor in a day in exchange for room and board. So I've communicated with several families in Scotland that have projects and are willing to host a work aware for the summertime. But another reason is, when I was in Granada, one night a group of us were out playing pool and we met these three really nice people who live in Chester, England, which isn't too far from Liverpool. And they invited me to come stay, to visit. So I was thinking to uh, visit with them for a little bit and maybe see some of the Beatles landmarks in Liverpool while I'm staying there first. So I'm hoping to take you on a magical mystery tour of Liverpool as well. And my friend Luis Ramirez is gonna come visit me in Scotland. He's really keen to visit and we're gonna do a little sightseeing in the Highlands there in August. So just when it's starting to get really hot here in southern Spain, it's gonna be really nice in northern England and Scotland. Anyways, we've got a few hours to kill here at the Malaga airport before my flight to Liverpool. So let's see if we can get in some flamenco guitar practice and just have a little look around the airport in Malaga. I've heard it's really nice. So this is Malaga Airport. This is a big airport and it's the busiest airport for travel in and out of southern Spain. So one interesting thing about Malaga is it's the birthplace of Pablo Picasso. It's also the birthplace of La Malagueña, which is a style of flamenco that I would say after rumba, most people that don't listen to a lot of flamenco maybe are familiar with or have heard in the past. La Malagueña comes from here in Malaga. So my flight to Liverpool actually isn't for like seven hours, but I got here really early because currently there's a strike on the airline of Ryanair because they're not paying their employees well enough or treating them well enough. So it's a possibility my flight might be canceled and they'll have to rebook me on another flight. So they wanted me to get here early. I want to get here early. So we have some time to kill. Let's go take a look around. All right, I'm past security. So the countdown begins. I got two hours till my flight to Liverpool. standing here in front of the original yellow submarine 
that the Beatles wrote in when they were cartoons. Let's go check it out. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine. As we live a life of beings, everyone... This is definitely by far the most iconic Beatles thing I've found here at the John Lennon Airport. In the town where I was born. Now I can't sing any more lines to this song for two reasons. Number one, I don't want to get my video blocked for copyright infringement. And number two, I can't remember the rest of the words of the song. So we're taking a bus into the center of town and then we're going to transfer to another bus so we can get to the King Harry, which is a hostel at Anfield, which is the home of Liverpool Football Club. So here's where I'm staying tonight, the King Harry pub and hostel. I think the pub is mostly in use when there's a match happening because we're right in the shadow of Anfield, which is the home of Liverpool Football Club. But it's really cheap, it's clean, and what more could you ask for? So this mural across the street here is of Mohamed Salah. He's on Liverpool Football Club. He's one of the greatest strikers in the world, and he's well-loved in these parts. <laughs> 